Hi third graders! Please make sure that you watch this video before taking your Module 1 Lesson 6 Assessment for Language Arts today. I'm going to show you some things that are a little bit different about this test. Okay, So when you go into the test, you're going to click Start like usual. But this time you're only going to see one question at a time. You will see down here that it says one of 16. There are 16 questions on this test. And to go to the next question, you have to click the next button, okay? I wanted to make it so that you could only see one question at a time, and so you didn't have to scroll through the page. This is going to make it a little bit easier so you can focus. If you need to go back to the last question, you can just click previous. There are a couple other new features that you can use. Up here, there is a highlighter. If you click the highlighter, you can highlight the text so that you can focus on your, where your answer is. And then you will still select your best answer choice. There's also this symbol right here it says answer eliminator. If you click on that, you can cross off answers that you know are wrong, kind of like we've practiced in our lessons together. So you can do that as well. If you need to turn it back off, if you're like, ah, oh, I want this to stop, click on it again and it will turn it off. Okay, so let's say I wanna submit that answer. I'm just going to click next. I have to read carefully and answer every question before I can submit. I don't even have the option to submit right now. It is going to make sure that I answer every question before I click submit. So if you are a couple questions in and you're like, oh, I need to take a break, please make sure that you click save and exit so that it saves your progress if you need to come back to this later. If you click save and exit, it will take you back to this page. Then when you click start again, it will Remember what you had on your test and you can start, you can just go next through the problems until you get to the number that you left off. Now this is a reading test, so there are some question that, questions that have pretty long passages for you to read, like this passage is pretty long. Let's say you don't really do a good job of reading things on a computer screen, you can actually print this test out so that you have it on paper to read. Here's how to print it. Once your test is open, there's a print button right there, and then it shows you a preview of your test that you can print. It will print all 16 questions for you, so you can click print. And on mine, it says it's going to take nine sheets of paper, so it's going to take a few pieces of paper because some of these reading passages are kind of long. So you can actually print it and do it on paper and then enter your answers on the computer. Here are some test taking tips so that you can do really well on your test today. Make sure you find a quiet place where there are no distractions so that you can really focus on your test and your reading passages. Make sure you are not hungry or need the bathroom before you start. You don't want to be distracted by being hungry or having to go to the bathroom. Make sure you take this in the morning if you can because your brain works better in the mornings. Take your time and read everything carefully. Okay, this is not time. There's no rush. You can take as long as you need to do this test. Save your answers if you need a break. So if you are just getting really tired and you need a break, Save your answers and come back and finish it after your break. And just do your best. I know that you guys will do great on it, so don't stress. This message is for parents, so if you need to go grab your parent really quick, pause the video and go grab them so they can hear this. Parents, for this language arts test today in Florida Virtual, you cannot read this test to your child. You cannot read the passages. You cannot read the answer choices. You cannot help your child with any words that they don't know. I really need to see what your child can read and understand. Okay, It is okay if they do not do well on this test. 
I can always have them do it again. I can always work with them in office hours, but I really need to see what they can do on their own. It's not going to be helpful for you to read it to them because then whenever we end up going back to school, I'm going to have a totally different idea of what your child is able to do on their own. So please just let your child do this on their own, just like the iReady test. Tell them to do their best. They will be able to do everything on this test. We've reviewed all of these concepts, so just tell them to do their best. If um, some children have specific accommodations, so I will talk to those people who have that, and then you can read the test to your child if those specific accommodations are for your child. But for most of the class, please do not read the, the test to them. Okay, now you're ready to take your test. Good luck. I know you're going to do great.